working with images, PDFs, and other attached files, it's a daily routine for any AutoCAD user. However, we require external programs such as Photoshop to remove multiple parts of these files. Till today, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to clip multiple boundaries of any attached file in AutoCAD. Let me show you what I mean. Working with images, PDFs, and other attached files, it's a daily routine for any AutoCAD user. However, we require external programs such as Photoshop to remove multiple parts of these files. Till today, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to clip multiple boundaries of any attached file in AutoCAD. Let me show you what I mean. All right, to start our brand new command, let's first explain why do we need this tool. I'll use an attached PDF for this example. If we try to create a clipping boundary in this PDF, AutoCAD will recognize that there is already a clipping boundary here. And if we choose no, it will take us out of that command automatically. Now, let's try it again. And this time, let's hit yes. As you can see, AutoCAD will remove your first boundary. But that's not what I wanted. This is where AutoCAD boundary multiple comes handy. So let's use it. Now, to create this custom command, I'm going to type CUI and enter. This will bring us to the customizable user interface of AutoCAD. Here, I'm going to create a brand new command. We can do this by simply duplicate any of the out-of-the-box AutoCAD commands or we can hit create a new command Now, we're going to rename our brand new command As you can see, I already have the clip boundary multiple command But, I'm going to duplicate this command just to show you how I did it I'm going to rename it
and I'm gonna use the following macro since I already have it I'm gonna copy that and paste it into my clip boundary multiple number two a quick explanation of this macro would be CC to get out of any AutoCAD command that is active will use frame selection system variable to zero. Also, we'll use the wipeout frame system variable, which will we set that to zero. We're gonna choose the layer command and create one called erase. We'll also use the rectangle command and choose these symbols to pause for the user input. Also we'll use wipeout and finally we will say yes. We'll apply And then what we need to do is drag our brand new command to our panel or to our ribbon. As you can see, I only have my clip boundary already here, but I'll drag it again just to show you how it works. I'll click on ribbon, I'll choose my panel where I wanted to add this brand new command. In this case, I'll add it to the modify panel. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to add new commands to your ribbon or how to create panels in AutoCAD, I suggest you to watch my other tutorials on the video description. So I'm going to click and hold and place it right here. Then I'll just hit apply. And finally OK. Now we have our clip boundary multiple 2. So let's test it. The nice thing is that we won't have any accidents since we won't be able to move any of our clipping boundaries. As you can see, programs doesn't always give us the tools that we need, but with a little effort, we can hack AutoCAD and force it to do as you command. I upload videos every Tuesday. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. I'm the Lazy Architecto. See you in the next tutorial.